This interview is brought to you by Dead Man Works Tattoos and Body Piercing in Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. Make sure you give the dead man a jingle dingle the next time you want a skin doodled in. Hello world, welcome to the Fonz's office. Today, I have a very special guest with us. His name is Jack Draper. He fights out of the United Kingdom and he is going to be featured on the upcoming Ragnarok bare knuckle fighting, the Vikings versus the Saxons. It will be their inaugural event on August 21st. Jack Draper, how are you doing, my friend? Very well, mate, yourself? I'm doing well as well, thank you. I, uh, I had the pleasure of watching your interview the other day with Shannon Rich, another friend yep. of mine. Uh, great interview. We got some great information off of that. Um, I'm going to go about things a little differently here. I'm going to start off by giving you an opportunity to say a shout out to all of your sponsors and anybody that you would like uh, to mention. Uh, I know a lot of interviews, uh, it's usually done at the end of the interview. I want everybody to hear about uh, who's supporting the Spartan Jack Draper in his Ragnarok yep. bare knuckle venture. Yeah, two uh, two friends of mine, uh, Jacob Stainen and Connor. They uh, they've got a joint shop together. One of them's a barber shop, and the other one's a tattoo shop. Moog's Tattoos and JWS Barbering. They've just sponsored me, and they're going to help me out along my journey. Um, I've also just been sponsored by a custom car and bike shop, VMS Customs. Same again, that they're, they're helping me out financially and. They're, they're going to be a big part of the journey as well. Shout out to those guys. Thank you very much for helping me. Excellent. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Is that, uh, I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm due for a haircut soon. Uh, I'm into tattoos. Is that yeah. a joint uh, place? Like are the tattoos and the uh, barbershop in the same building? Like, is it a, or yeah. are they two separate? Well, uh, is, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, the shops are right next to each other, but they got like a door in the middle. And it's like a link, a link shop, and they, they split everything down the middle. And Very yeah, cool. so it's yeah, that's a that's a really cool idea. You can go in, uh, you get a, you have a tattoo booked, uh, and yeah. while you're waiting, they might uh, be a few minutes. You can go in next door, get your hair tidied up. Yeah, that's beautiful, it. beautiful, and and also a uh, custom car and bike. Is that what you said? Okay, yeah, custom bike car shop. Yeah, they uh, they they can build. They do everything from basic maintenance work to to building things from scrap, and they've got they've got some nice. I've seen some nice bikes down there already. And Beautiful. Obviously, I'm going to be getting my bike soon, some point this year, and that's so right. for me, that's, that's, that's gone hand in hand. Yeah, you're you're working on your license. That's correct, right? For your your yeah, motorbike. Yeah, I've got um, I've got to wait. I think till September time until I can actually do my full bike test, but I'm working towards it. Perfect. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. Uh, what is the weather like out there in uh, in that fall time? Is it uh, bike weather, or you get your license just in time to put your bike away? Um, yeah, it, it, uh, September time it can vary. It can be it can be still be quite warm, but then okay. again, at the same time, it can still be a bit shit. Yeah. But um, by the time I get my bike, it'll probably be around about October, November time. So yeah, so it'll be winter, but. Right, so I'm not. Oh, that bike's not going away, mate. That bike's going to be in out, and the road is being ridden, no matter what the weather is. A true biker at heart. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, awesome, brother. Awesome. Right on, man. So, yeah, you've got a chance to uh, shout out a couple sponsors. There, we're uh, yep. we're going to talk a little bit today about your upcoming fight with Ragnarok yep. Bare Knuckle Fighting. Um, they're out of Norway. the uh, The event was originally scheduled for June fifth. Uh, it was postponed because of COVID. They've got a new yep. date, August 21st. Um, and they've also got a, uh, uh, a deal now with uh, pay-per-view. They've got their own uh, site, WBKF.TV, I believe it is. WBKF.TV, that's it. Um, so the Come world on. will be able to watch uh, uh, the pay-per-view as well. We'll be able to watch this event. Yep. That's awesome. It, mate. Worldwide. Yeah. And, and 
if I'm not mistaken, there's like 14 fights, I think, uh, already scheduled. Uh, may maybe uh, it's changed now, but I believe that was the original. Uh, so it's looking like a good full uh, pay-per-view yeah. to get. Um, yeah, it's going to be a full action card. Awesome. You're scheduled to fight uh, Kel Camille Kaldunsky. Uh, do yeah. you know very much about this opponent? Oh, all I've seen of him, um, he's, he's an MMA fighter. Um, I'm not sure how many MMA fights he's had. He's uh, quite a short, stocky kind of build. Right. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've, only, I've only seen one fight of his. Um, and obviously, it's MMA, so you can't really, can't really gauge what his striking's like because he spent most right. of the time on the ground. But uh, one, there's two things I took from that fight. There's that he comes to bang. He's, he's, a, he's wild. He swings. Um, and I'll tell you the other thing I took is that he got dropped in that fight as well. So, okay. Two That's things good. hand in hand, really. He's right. wild and can be dropped. So, right. So, for yourself, uh, of course, I don't want you to expose a game plan or anything. But uh, from what you've said, I could deduct from that that you're going to uh, use your boxing against this gentleman. There's no, there's no. I'm not, I've never, I've never done game plans for Ben Uckle. I've just worked on, worked on my shots, made sure my shots are the best they can be. Um, because I'm, I tried making a game plan for Shannon Rich. Um, right. Obviously, going to the first Ben Uckle fight. Yeah. And it didn't work. It didn't right. work at all. I, I had to, I had to mix it up. Um, when well, I went, went back to the corner and, and then come back, I had to, I had to change things up. So I said to myself, I'm not making it. I'm just going to see, see where this fight goes. Yeah, and from what I think of him, he's probably going to run at me as soon as that bell goes. And all I can say, he's going to walk straight onto a right hand, and he's going to be sleeping. That's it. Beautiful. Similar. Yeah. So you're you're looking to make short work of this fight. Definitely. And uh, awesome. Now, now Ragnarok. Uh, this is a new organization. This is going to be their inaugural event, but they're yep. really making a big stomp in the world right now. Yeah. They've got. They make uh, moves. Yeah, they've got they've got uh, events planned for Thailand, Sweden. Yep. Uh, I believe Ireland is on there as well. Uh, Italy, yep. um, this uh, Poland, uh, yep. and rumor is it's South that Africa as well. I think pardon me, South Africa as well. I think they're planning South on South Africa. Doing. That's right. I saw that poster the other day. Um, mm. And rumor is that uh, Shannon Rich is going to be hosting. Uh, some training down in the uh, United States for a potential North American uh, division as well. So, yeah, that'd be good. We'll uh, we'll definitely let people know more about that once uh, information mm -hmm. is released. But yeah, Ragnarok is looking like it's uh, really looking to uh, make a big impact in the world of bare knuckle. How does that feel for you, uh, being a part of that with being in the inaugural event? You're going to be a part of history, man. Yeah, it's, it's 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 exciting. It's exciting stuff because at the end of the day, it's, it, you you want to be part of a show that's planning on making big moves. And I know I know BKFC out there are the biggest promotion out there at the minute, and they're they're the ones that are doing that. They're they're making incredible moves as well. But oh, yeah. it's nice to see another another joint, or another organization doing the, making the same sort of moves as well. Do you know what I mean? I know I know they yet to put on their first show, but the way the way it's looking. It, they're, they're looking they're, they're going to be up there with, with the best of them do you know what I mean yeah from absolutely from the looks of it uh, I've had some discussions with Stanley and with Andrew myself uh, I'm going to be doing some interviews with them as well and uh, yep. yeah they, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that um, yeah yeah beautiful uh, with uh, with your fight with Ragnarok uh, are you signed like are you able to talk about your contract at all? Are you like a, a one fight yeah. or is there a, uh, my, cause my understanding is there's, they're putting a lot of work into uh, promoting this and they're even filming a documentary uh, with the fighters. Is that something yeah. you can speak towards? Yeah. Yeah. I've, um, um, yeah. So my, my contract's only a one fight contract as at the moment, as it stands. Right. Um, and yeah, but I said that we've, <clears throat> they're not, they're not so they're not they don't want to tie fighters down, do you know what I mean? And that's the best thing about them. They want fighters to be able to go and go off and fight. Right. Obviously, you know that I'm looking to get over to BKFC in October. Um we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But sure. but I they're helping me make that move. Um, right. 
for a promotion to help you get onto another promotion. It just goes to show that they're not, they want the best for the fighters. Um, and where they're, and the thing is where they're going to be putting on shows in, like I said, Poland, Italy, all these places, realistically, they want to try and get fighters from their countries. Yeah. So obviously, and, and if, if they call me up and say, look, Jack, do you want to come over and fight on, on this show? This Obviously we'll discuss it, blah, 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 then yeah. But as it right. stands at the moment, I know that they said they're looking at getting fighters from those countries. So it's like, okay, I'll have this fight in Norway. I'll then take a little step back and and then I'll go and do my thing, hopefully on BKFC, and we'll, we'll see where it goes from there, really. Beautiful, beautiful. The uh, I really like uh, that aspect and, and what uh, hmm. what Stanley and Andrew are trying to do with that. And, and yeah, as definitely. I mentioned, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that more with them. But I do like the fact that... Uh, they may be going into these countries and looking for the best fighters from those countries yeah. to fight for Ragnarok, but they're not looking yeah. to steal them from any organization. No, no, they no. want them they're to not. still be able to fight and they want to have the ability for those fighters to be able to have those options. And yeah. uh, you don't really see that a lot from promotions. Um, no, you don't. Yeah, so... That's a to to myself, anyways. That's a, a wonderful thing to see, and I think that's I think, a good step as well to uh, really get them to branch out on a on a uh, fast kind of like fast tracking things. Yeah, I, I think that comes down to the fact that the obviously Stanley and Andrew are both fighters themselves, Correct. so they understand what fighters want, what they need, how they how fighters go about doing things, and. So they know that fighters, so don't get me wrong, some fighters are happy to stick to one promotion. Sure. But they know that some, some fighters want to get out of there. They want to fight around. They want to fight the best. Obviously, they know that some some other promoters might offer more money. Some other promoters might offer them a better fighter, whatever. But And, and they understand that. Right. So that's, that's, that's I think that's, that's why they're, they're that way inclined. Beautiful. Now, you've mentioned uh, that the foresight is to hopefully fight over in North America uh, after the summer, around October, and potentially with yep. uh, BKFC. Um, yep. I know I've I've brought your name forward to uh, Nate Shook, uh, to David yep. Feldman. I know other people have as well. Uh, yep. And uh, my understanding from, uh, from all of that is that uh, not only are you on the radar, that uh, they're actually going to be watching... Uh, your fight. Now, this is my own perception of that. This is not coming from them, but my perception of what is uh, being said is that you're a commodity, my friend, and uh, they know yeah. uh, that the potential uh, for yourself and for marketing you uh, could do the brand some good. Would you like to speak a little bit about uh, about BKFC? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously, like I said, I've got my fight in Norway, which I spoke to Andrew and he said to me, he's spoken to Dave Feldman, because obviously I asked him if he could yeah. get in touch and try and get me over there. Um, he said he's spoken to him. He said, they know who you are. They're going to be keeping an eye on you. So fingers crossed, if I do the number on Camille in Norway, then maybe we'll be able to sit down and talk about uh, fighting over there in, in, in Arizona. They've got a card in Arizona in Beautiful. October, which I want to be on. Yeah. So obviously no, nothing's been confirmed, but... yeah. It's look. It's going in the right right direction. So I just got to do the number, do the job in Norway, and then we can go from there. Absolutely, absolutely. And, yeah. and you're, I know, with our discussions that we've had, you're very familiar with the BKFC brand. You watch the yep. brand. Uh, you're yep. you're up to date with the fighters, especially the fighters in the heavyweight division. You've watched yep. the total line events. Um, yep. Are there any fighters that you could see potentially matching up with that would be a good uh, introduction into BKFC. Who would you like to welcome you into BKFC if it does branch out that way for you? So I'll, I'll say this with the most utmost respect. Of I course. want to fight Bobo Bo Bo Bannon. Beautiful. Pure, the Bible Belt the, Brawler. Purely for the fact that man comes to fight. Win, lose, draw, it does not matter to him. He just comes to fight and you, you can't some, some people just haven't got that, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And that's what I want. I want to fight. I, I just want to fight. I want to put on the best fights for people. I want people to want to tune in and watch me. I don't want to be one of these fighters that goes to the decision, dances around. 
don't like, don't 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 engage and and I right. love that about Bo. But he's the most n- nicest bloke you could possibly want to meet, but he's he's got that other side to him that I I, I want to step in against. You know I mean, I think me and him would make a a good a good fight. Um, and I'm not I'm not the first, I'm not the only other person to say that. Josh Burns has also said that me and him would make a good fight. Sure. Bobo's trainer, Jason Williams from Wales, has also said that it would make a great fight. Correct. So, I mean, Bobo himself has even agreed to it, but obviously yeah. we need to, we need to, um, obviously get Norway out of the way and then we can all sit down and then get, hopefully get the contract signed up. Yeah, that would, that would be wonderful. And, and I really mm. like uh, the name you put out there as well. Um, he's, yep. uh, he's proven himself exactly yep. how you've said. Uh, yep. He is definitely there to throw. Uh, he can take a hit. We saw in the fight with uh, yeah. Mike Kyle, Mike flattened him, yeah. and and yeah. he got up from that, and yeah. and he put on a he put on a bit of a performance, man. He did. Um, he did. Now, Brilliant to watch. Yeah, yeah, it, it really was that uh, kind of that rocky moment, right? Like uh, yeah, a lot of that, people, yeah. a lot of people in North America have heard of Mike Kyle uh, because yeah. of his MMA uh, fights. Um, yeah. and, uh, uh, I think a lot of people were, uh, underestimating Bobo in that fight, uh, myself included, yeah. uh, and man, what a wonderful thing to witness. And uh, as a fan, a true fan of Mike Kyle's, that was still a wonderful thing to witness seeing yeah. somebody take that kind of a shot, get back up and get back in the fight. And with yeah, my yeah. discussions with you that's the exact kind of fighter that you want. You don't want a one hit yeah. quitter. You want someone yeah. who wants that gets hit and that wakes them up and boom, now it's yeah. on. Exactly. There's, 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 there's nothing, but when, when you put someone down and you see them get back out of a smile on their face, you, you know, you're, you're in it for a fight. Absolutely. So, and I, and I said, they're the kind of fights I want. Yeah. And, and as you mentioned, Bobo is an absolute gentleman. Uh, yes, yeah. When nice if, for the people out there that are following him on his uh, social media and his wife as well, uh, they're an amazing couple, and yeah. uh, they're they're doing a lot of good in the community as well. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it, I would build that as a true gentleman's bout. You know, a lot of people say bare knuckle fighting; it's not a bout, and I agree with that. But in this sense, between the two gentlemen, uh, I believe that terminology could be used. It, don't get yeah. me wrong; it's it would be a straight up scrap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, but yeah, gentleman, gentlemanly bout uh, would be a good way to almost market that because uh, both yeah. of you guys are uh, uh, definitely two individuals that I hold a high amount of respect for, and that would be a cool fight in my books too. Yeah, definitely. That's 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 the fight I'll be looking for. Hopefully, nice, nice. nice. So with uh, with bare knuckle uh, being at the forefront. Uh, do you have any aspirations for any glove boxing or anything like that? Or is it just bare knuckle from here out? Bare knuckle from here out, mate. I don't, I'm not interested in boxing with gloves anymore. It doesn't do anything for me. Personally, right. I can't even stand, I can't even stand watching glove boxing anymore. Um, I'm just, I just, I have lost all interest in glove boxing since I started doing bare knuckle. And, and it's, the thing is with, with glove boxing now as well, right now on the professional side is, it, it takes years in the makings to get two of the best fighters to fight each other. Yeah. It's all politics. It's all contracts. It's all bullshit. Um, bare knuckle. There's no fucking about it. If you've got two great guys that, that are smashing it, the promoter will stick them in from fight yeah. each other. Um, yeah. And that, that's, that's, that's what I love the most about the bare knuckle boxing is there's no... There's no bullshit. There's no politics. It's, if you're good, you're good. Okay, it's matches and you'll fight. Yeah, simple as. Now, we uh, uh, watching your interview the other day with Shannon Rich, the uh, Shannon's corner is that uh, the Cannon's corner? I believe it's uh, it. it's yeah. called. Um, watching that interview, uh, you mentioned something that got me. I I hadn't heard of it before, so I went and googled it and I checked it out. And that's uh, uh, an underground club in uh, Sweden, uh, King of the Street. Oh, yeah. King of the so Street, yeah. What, yeah. what do you think of that? Like, that's a no rules styled yeah. all out. Um, I watched, I watched, I got hooked, man. I started watching and I started, I, 
I binge watched it last night, right? I, I watched a bunch of fights. Yes. And man. holy crap, is that ever savage, man. Um, it is, it's true. You, you mentioned Simon uh, off of there yes. in, in your interview. Yes. So I, I went and I watched, uh, I watched some of Simon, uh, the smasher, yes. I think they call him. And uh, man, savage. <laughs> he's, he's, he's off the set, isn't he, that Simon? He's, he's crazy. He's, he's, if I'm not mistaken, scheduled to be on the Ragnarok bare knuckle card. Yeah, wow, he is, man. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, going to be exciting to uh, to watch as well. That uh, that's that's very neat. Could you see yourself uh, fighting in a stage like that? Uh, yeah. With oh yeah, with with the no yeah, rules. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, 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 listen, I would happily happily go over there and do that, but. Like I've, I've I've put it out publicly a few times. Um, I, I would I would do it in a heartbeat, but I think the missus would need a little bit of convincing sure. to let to let me go and do that. I mean, she's she finds it hard enough me doing the bare knuckle stuff as it is. Um, sure. So going on a stage where there is no rules, there is like obviously there like it's any, any sport you can get hurt, but that's like that's 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 as brutal as it's gonna get. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. Maybe one day I'll be able to convince her. I'll um, I'll do it. Obviously, I'd need to find out kind of what money's throwing it throwing it about for. Do you know what I mean? I ain't gonna go do it for free. Um, otherwise, I'll put the neighbour up again. But um, <laughs> but, but yeah, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely something I would um I would be interested in doing. Hundred percent. The fight. But listen, us, us fighters, we fight. But it doesn't matter what the stage is, what what kind of rule set it is. Right. That we'll have a fight. Okay? Yeah. So, well, that's yeah, that's definitely. one of the that's one of the things that I really appreciate about yourself is that you are a true fighter. Uh, that it's uh, you're about fighting the people that want to fight and and that are in there to fight. And uh, that's like I say, that's one of the things I really respect about you that you are a true fighter. And I am so looking forward to uh, getting to see you perform again because it's uh, it's been a little while now. With, it's been uh, nearly, nearly two years. Almost. Two years. Yeah. So getting and and that you've it's not that you haven't had fights scheduled. You had yeah. uh, fights scheduled for bare knuckle, but COVID delayed oh, everything you. and it just messed it all up. So it, it's going to be really nice to be able to finally see you step back inside of a boxing ring uh, with bare knuckles and throw down with another man that wants to throw right back at you. This is yep. uh, this yep. is going to be wonderful, and for the fans out there, again, it will be available on WBKF.TV. You can go to the Ragnarok BKB uh, Facebook page, and I believe they are listed as Ragnarok BKF on uh, the other platforms like uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube. Um, so, uh, kind of to wrap things up a little bit here now. Um, with your with your bare knuckle focus uh outside of bare knuckle with the family things are going well for you yep yep things are going really well mate um you've got another one on with... the way yeah yeah i've got another i've got a little girl on the way yeah she's due she's due the 15th of august um but we've got a feeling she's going to be coming a little bit early right uh fingers crossed um yeah i've got i've got a, I've got a new job hopefully starting up soon which is a lot less hours than what I'm working now. I'm working like nearly 60 hours a week at the moment. Yeah, five twelves, um, if not mistaken. That's it. Five, yeah, five days a week, 12-hour night shift. Still managing to train twice a day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but hopefully my other job's only eight hours a day. And yeah. Um, and I've also got, um, um, I'm currently filming a documentary about, about not, not so, it's not about my life or anything like that. It's more about day-to-day -day life, how, how my training's going. It's all, all up to the Ragnarok show. Right, um, yeah, we touched we touched on that. I'm glad that you uh, that you branched back to that because I wanted to touch on that. Can you tell me a little bit about that documentary? Yeah, so so it's, it started off. I got I met a guy at work actually. Um, he's really got an eye for filming and editing and, and stuff like that. He used to work for the BBC, which is a TV channel in the UK. Yeah, so he's got, he's got quite a little bit of um a little bit of like quite a lot of information and. A knowledge on on filming and stuff, and he, I'll I'll put it to him. I said, look, I'd love to do like a um like a little like documentary on in the build up to to my fight. Sure. Um, and yeah, and, and then as we sat down, discussed it, and 
we've actually started filming it now and we've got some good bits in already. We've only just started it, so camps camp starts tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so the the, the build up to it's gonna be gonna be something good. I'll talk about school life, what, what I was like growing up, and Excellent. get like talk about when I was bullied and <clears throat> when I when I when I was younger. Obviously, I, I tried to commit suicide due to bullying. Um, bring that up and touch base on that a little bit. He's actually coming out to to Norway to film the um yeah, the actual yeah. fight itself and the event and nice and all that. So, yeah, so it's, it's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent, excellent. And and with them filming at that event, is this something that will be released afterwards then, or is the filming yeah. at the event going to be something separate? No, no, no. He's um yeah. It's it's all going to be put in one beautiful one film. So he's going to edit. Obviously, I don't know how long it will take him to edit or, or something like that. Um, but he, he said it'll be it'll be out later on in the year, um, and it'll go straight, straight to YouTube, and we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully, put it in a few festivals and see if it can win any awards or anything like that. And Beautiful. Yeah, and we'll see how it goes from there. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. That uh, that sounds exciting as well. Excellent. Yeah, yeah be good. It, I'm looking it, forward. It, is there anything else that you'd like to touch on? Is there anything that you'd like to uh, that you'd like to bring up or? Um, no, I think we've covered we've covered everything recently, haven't we? Um, uh yeah no I've beautiful you, you you mentioned your boxing i uh, i do just want to throw pete's name out there because i uh yeah, 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 yeah. shout out to pete you got to shout pete out absolutely Easy. you had a session with him this morning when it comes to bare knuckle boxing the man knows his stuff absolutely absolutely and yeah, i had a session with him already uh today first thing this morning yeah it's, yeah 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 y- you're yeah. you're late at night now, so I don't imagine there's another session coming after this no, interview. No. But uh, tomorrow morning, you're back in the gym again. Tomorrow morning, yeah. Well, I'll start off. Yeah, I'll go to. I'm gonna go do some running and get back out on the road and get my Beautiful. road working out. Because you know? what, what I've been, what I was doing, obviously, when I was training for the fight for June, yeah, started beginning of January. Um, obviously, we we was training for a few weeks, and then obviously the fight got postponed. Yeah, so. Because we was training so hard, Pete said, look, there's no need, there's no reason for us to carry on training that way. So let's take a little bit of a break. We've took about, I think we've took about four weeks off of just serious boxing training. I've been in the gym still. I've been lifting yeah. some weights and keeping myself ticking over. But obviously now we've got 12 weeks again to the show now. So yeah, we'll, um, we're stepping it up again from this week and we'll get back into it from this week. Awesome. Sounds like you're going to be very well prepared for this boat. I'm going to reach okay. out to Camille and I'm going to see if I can get an interview shot with him as well. Uh, yep. I may, I'm not sure if I'll need a translator or not. I will, uh, I will find out about that, but uh, I yep. like to give him an opportunity as well to uh, get his thoughts out. So uh, yep. man, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this and I really appreciate you took some time out of your day today. Yeah, no worries, mate. Appreciate it. Excellent, Jack. <laughs> well, everybody this year was the Spartan Jack Draper. He fights out of the United Kingdom, currently with a record of 3-0-1 in bare knuckle. And he's going to be fighting on the Ragnarok, bare knuckle fighting, the Vikings versus the Saxons. Fighting event coming out of Norway on August 21st, 2021. And you all will want to watch that on WBKF.TV. I am the super fan, Jeff Lott, and I am here with Jack Draper, and we are signing out from the Fonz's office.